Hey astrology lovers, it's your astrologer Julia Mijas with my manager Luna and we're going to tell you how the sky looks for December. So big stuff is happening friends because two outer planets, Jupiter and Saturn, are both leaving Capricorn and heading into Aquarius. Jupiter and Saturn represent totally different things because Jupiter means luck, opportunity and expansion. He's kind of like the fat and happy Santa Claus of the Zodiac who gives out presents. By contrast, Saturn means challenge, testing and limitations. But Saturn is not just the cosmic buzzkill, he's got a higher manifestation as well. He likes to test things to sort of see if you're on the right path, and when he brings headaches to some part of your chart or some area in your life, he's forcing you to examine what you're really doing by showing you what your weaknesses are. So when both of these planets enter one of your houses, it means that the themes of that house are going to be very prominent, and there's going to be both some growth as well as some tests. There's also a total lunar eclipse at 23 degrees Sagittarius on December 14th. And this is a highly idealistic and enterprising lunar eclipse where you might want to hit the ground running on some project that wasn't very well thought through. Now, as you aim for the stars, be careful not to steer your wagon into a ditch. There's also a full moon in eight degrees Cancer on December 29th. And this is a time for finishing up some family or home activity where you can put your own unique spin on things to make life a little more interesting. Now, 2020 has been a wild ride thanks to that historic shit show of a conjunction by Saturn and Pluto. Now, this last lunation of 2020 looks like a much more pleasant close to the year where you can take a new approach to family and home, which gives you a sense of roots and sanity amidst all the chaos. Hey, Gemini. So both Jupiter and Saturn are popping into your ninth house and they're going to stay here throughout 2021. The ninth house represents travel, education, law, and promotion. This is a great transit if you're in school or need to learn something new. And if you have a social media presence, then this year is going to give you a boost for self-promotion where you can get more followers and subscribers. Just remember to lay off the contour, okay? And Saturn, the planet of testing, is also going to be here at the same time. That means that you might have some opportunities to travel, but these might end up being work trips or maybe traveling to fulfill some responsibilities. Now, since this is a legal house too, try to keep your nose clean with Johnny Law because court problems can go pear-shaped now. Saturn is testing your worldview and knowledge too, so if you get up on your pulpit and act like you know everything, you could also be taken down a few pegs. And Venus, the planet of love and beauty, starts the month in your sixth house of service, work, and health. Put down that cookie, because Venus is in your house of self-discipline, which means you're not going to have a whole lot. This is a nice time for getting along well with the people you work with, because Venus also likes to bring harmony and pleasure wherever she goes. Thanks for watching. Me and Luna are about to go for a ride, but we're putting out astrology videos every month, so if you want to hear us talk about anything in particular, please leave a comment below. Ciao for now!